Hi. I don't know if anyone's wow. here. I don't know what's going on. Where am I? All I know is I hear my echo. <laughs> is anyone here? Is the stream started? I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Where am I? All I know is I hear my echo. <laughs> so I think I think Twitch is playing in the background. So you might have to pause the video in Twitch or put the volume down. Because I know that's why I probably hear an echo. If everyone else. Are we live? Are we? Are we? I don't know. I have to do my signature well hello, because I don't know if we're live. <laughs> this is trial and error. I have no computer in front of me, except for the game. All right. I am going to transfer us over right about now. Did you switch the, um, the, the name of the stream away from Edith Finch again? Or did you I leave did. it there? <laughs> nope. Does it still say we're playing Edith Finch today? In VR, apparently? It shouldn't. Oh, okay. So, we're live, right? Are we live? Are we? We are live right now. Alright, well, hello! Reem is giving you a wave. Well, hello, everyone. Sorry, this is a trial. I, I can't see a screen. So, I have Timbo over here reading off the prompt for me on the computer. So I can actually be part of chat, and yeah. Hi everyone, how's it going? Hi Reem, how are you? <laughs> Eleven is here also. She says that she feels like she is the cat from your intro screen. Oh, very cool. Isn't that song so cute? It has a kitty on the song. If you ever click the link for the song, there's like a kitty on the background. So, well, hi, everyone. Welcome to my first ever VR stream. Uh, this is the first one, so we're trying to get through all the kinks and everything. So if things sound weird or look weird or any other way, just let us know. So maybe we can make some adjustments along the way. Uh, Timbo will be reading off chat for me because I obviously cannot see chat. All I can see is the game around me. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, if you have anything, say it through chat there and he'll relay it to me and so yeah this is actually Stonehenge, St Stonehenge VR uh, this game was gifted me by the developers Voyager VR when I went to TwitchCon um, during the VR panel stream so I've never played this game before I've seen a little bit of the videos but I have no clue what I'm doing so we'll be working on this together <laughs> Hopefully, it'll turn out okay. So, anyway, so you can probably see what's on my screen right now. So we got a little, I got a laser beam sword right here. I don't know what that does. And I, I guess I take pictures? Somewhat? Apparently I have no so body. So Reem is saying, uh, try to keep your head a little bit steady if you can, because <laughs> I guess there's a little bit of a motion. Oh, yeah, issue. okay, okay, I'm going to go really slow. I am so sorry. I get just so excited. Um, <laughs> Eleven is saying this is the first on location edition of Shanana Banana. I know. So we're actually at Timbo's house because he actually owns the the VR system. So this is actually not my home. So, but yeah, he's got a lot more space than I do. That is for sure. Space says this new portal game looks pretty weird. <laughs> Hi, Space. Hello. I know you guys can probably see me in the live cam. So here's my wave, but then also... Sorry, Reem. I'm going to move this like a little bit. There you go. We'll do like a... And Eleven is saying that the motion isn't too much of an issue. She's only thrown up once so far. So she's good to go. <laughs> no throwing up. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to try to go... Oh, gosh. Can you guys picture this in horror games? Come on. How can I go slow in a horror game? It's going to turn out... Wonderful. All right, so um, let's see what we're going to do here. We got, I guess we're just going to do the sandbox. Complete the museum mode tour to unlock the sandbox mode. Oh, so I have to do the museum mode. All right, is that select? Select. Ooh. How do I? Eh. Can I move? Let's see if I can move. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, I'm closer now. Closer to the screen. 
What if I want to go all the way back there? And... what <laughs> Oh, VR is so cool. It looks so realistic. All right, I don't know how to start the game, to be honest. Is it... Eh. Eh. That one? This one? Ooh, what's this? <gasps> so, the trigger on your left hand should be the selector. It doesn't let me select the mode. It only lets me jump to it. No, the the trigger, not the thumb pad. Yeah, the trigger. I'm pressing the trigger. Oh, maybe it's that one. I, apparently I can shoot laser beams. <laughs> I'm pressing the trigger, but it's not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. What about when you point at the sandbox? I, I can't. No. I apparently have this. I guess I'm taking pictures. Pictures? Picture? Picture. But no. I won't do anything. Trigger's not doing anything? No. Your index finger? No. Maybe it's already broken. Whoa! Where'd that come from? Apparently I destroyed something. <gasps> Maybe I shoot laser beams. Sharks with laser beams attached to their heads. How did I shoot that? Maybe... Oh, well, let me select. Can I grab it? Can I grab that? Oh! Come here! Oh, come back! Oh, okay, it's gone now. I don't think I can grab it anymore. I could try to jump for it. Jump, jump, jump for it. Can I go in the ceiling? No. Alright, I think I broke the game. I already broke it. Five minutes into the stream, I already broke the game. Sounds about your average. Here. It won't let me select anything. Oh, wait, I got the museum mode. I did it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I told you this is a trial and error stream. Ooh. I didn't like the music already. So, Eleven asks, do you know about the Star Trek VR game? That sounds perfect for y'all. <laughs> so, uh, we actually have the Star Trek VR game. We totally do. Um, I didn't put it on the list to play today, but if you guys prefer to watch that one instead, then uh, we'll probably switch it out with another one. All right, so I guess I got to move over here. I hope I don't trip and fall on my butt, guys. Start the VR experience. I'm going to try to move slow so I don't make you guys all sick. Sounds like Space might prefer the Star Trek game to the game we were just playing, which was Shanana and Timbo are playing Keep Talking or We Stay at the Title Screen. Keep Talking or We Stay at the Title Screen? I love it. I love it. Aw, thank you so much for the follows. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Oh, I got a shadow. What is this? Shanana, are you able to back up just a little bit? Oh, okay, yeah, let me, maybe I can transport over here. Aim it directly at the object you would like to pick up, press and hold the trigger. Try it out by picking up the earth. Well, let me move closer. Okay, I gotta pick up the earth. Congratulations. There's Australia. Can I move it? Guys, you know, this is how the Earth really spins. It's due to me controlling it. So if you guys feel a little bit of shakiness at home, this might be due to it. Just saying. Can I throw it? Oh, how cool! Wait, how am I supposed to get back now? <laughs> That's my problem. Oh, it wants me to jump to somewhere. Can I jump over there? Hold on. 
Wait, no, that's not it. I'm taking pictures. Where's it want me? Did it want me to jump to somewhere? I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the globe. <laughs> <laughs> Shinana, the ultimate distraction. VR. <laughs> They says that you have the whole world in your hands. I say, God help us. God help us. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I thought I had it. I thought I had things together, but obviously. Is it a side button? No? Are you able to use the trigger to select it? Anything? Uh, before I was able to jump. And now it's not letting me jump. I used I did have see like it wanted me to mm. jump to somewhere, but it's not letting me. Try jump. walking. Are you able to walk over and pick it up? Uh, that's a little too far. To yeah. be honest, I'm probably gonna walk right into the TV. <laughs> it, can I select this again? Can you replay for me? I I need special assistance. Because, obviously... <laughs> oh, can I turn around? Oh, that's where I'm supposed to transport. Oh! Excellent. Note Please to self, look to everywhere. Alright, well, I guess I don't get to have the globe. Watcha! We are going to learn how to use the VR Come camera. Here. To take a photograph, Come hold here. down the big green button or the trigger. Once you have the shot you would like to take, simply release the button. Yes, 11. This is the HTC Vive. <laughs> you are now ready to begin your Voyager VR experience. I don't know if I'm really that ready. <laughs> Press start button. Is it the screen? Is there a start button on my controller? Start. Oops, I took another picture. Memory card full. Damn right. You've already wasted all the pictures. Well, I guess I can retake them over. Apparently. <laughs> ah! Alright. Um How do we start? Start! Oh, okay. That works. I just have to click the screen. Oh, sound went away. Very quietly opening. Okay, there we go. Ooh, do we get to fly? To the end of the corridor. Choo! Oh, wait, my globe. Choo! Choo! Can I take it with me? Yes! Oops, I took a picture of it. Ah. <sighs> All right. Eleven says, wait, she was the bit boss, then I killed her, and now Jiggle is the bit boss again? I don't know. I have no clue. Ha <laughs> ha! Come here! I think uh -huh. Jiggle pulled a sneak attack at the end of the last stream, Eleven. She maybe did. This bit boss is broken. Wah! Alright, goodbye, globe! Ah, oh. Hey, it's space! It's space! Aww. Oh. Can we teleport off the side? <laughs> Alright, let's do this! Can we go? Oh, it won't let me teleport off the edge. We don't get to go flying in space. I'm sorry, space. I tried. I tried and failed miserably. Wait, where, what happened to our screen? Where am I? Oh, whoa! What happened to st oh. Welcome to Stonehenge VR. To begin your guided experience, toss a stone into the fire pit. The stones are near the candles on the table. Whoa! Ah, well, I don't know if that's a moon, but doesn't look very safe. Oh, how cool! Alright, well, which stone should we choose now? Hmm. Uh, this one. Please don't knock over the 
sexual monument while you're there. Can't tell me what to do. Pew. Aw, oh, I took away my sound. I don't hear anything now. Knock over everything! I don't think I, can I get I feel like I'm gonna walk right off this edge into this. Okay. I gotta pick up one of these stones. And throw it into the fire. Fire we go. Oh, I hope I do not trip over anything. Where am I? I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> okay, I'm in the safe box. Eleven says, thank goodness there's no lamp for Shinana to knock over. <laughs> I know, we made a secure spot. Oh, like it's a butterfly. Come here. Remasks if you can use both hands to pick things up. Um, I'll try. And Space says that Shinana just made a bunch of druids real mad. I did. I'm sorry. It was tempting. They were trying to tell me not to knock over the stone hedge, and, you know? When I'm a giant, of course, I want to. Where am I? I'm, uh, in a box. I guess I can teleport. Phew! Butterfly, come here. Can I grab you? I'm taking pictures, apparently. Come here. Come here. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, butterfly. It won't even let me transport over to you anymore. Okay, fine. That's fine. Off to the objection. Oh, the globe's back. You are standing in front of Stonehenge, located in Wiltshire, England. It was constructed during the end of the Neolithic period and was finished around 2300 BC. Reem says, screw the druids. They used to stick the gypsies on them in South Karana. <laughs> How dare they? Well -known. Space says, eat the butterfly. Eat the butterfly. <laughs> You know, space, and if I could try to, I, I would. Of I mean, if I could, I would. I mean, I did try to. Oh, I've never been to Stonehenge. Has anyone been? Well, if you haven't, we all get to be there together. <laughs> Eleven says they should put this in schools. It'd be way fun to learn. I agree, Eleven. I totally agree. Ew, look at this beautiful grass. Very grassy. Alright, what are we doing? What is our objection? Do we get to just admire the beauty? Why is this rock here in the sky? What are you doing here? Can I grab you? Can I walk forward? What's my box? Come here! Whoa! Oops! Oops! <laughs> the smaller rocks circling the monument are known as blue stones. What makes them so interesting is that they were transported over 150 miles from South Wales and weigh up to four tons each. The motivation behind like this learning experience design was the blue stones were believed to have special healing properties. This made Stonehenge a place where people from all over the world oh, would back. come to be healed of their pain. Visitors of the time would chip off pieces of the blue stones to take with them on their journey. Am I missing something? Hear it. I feel like I'm missing something. Can I grab this? Can I grab that? I don't know if it's outside of my box. I can take a picture of it, apparently. Grab. Grab it. <laughs> Aha! I got it. Can we chip away at some rocks? We must heal ourselves. Pew! I'm gonna try to chip at this rock. Oh, I can! I 
don't think we're gonna break this rock, guys. Whoa! Well, Eleven says, when in pain, rub a rock on it. There you go. We're trying to get good luck here, guys. From all of us. Alright, let's go to the next spot. Where's our next learning experience? I'm gonna take this with me, just in case I need to defend myself. Oh, we got the sun! We got the sun in our hands now, apparently. Can I ding the sun? <laughs> That totally worked! Oh, I can't carry both. Can I carry both? Come here! Oh. Space says this place rocks. <laughs> I see what you did there. I'm probably not even looking at the screen, but wherever I see what you did there. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I don't even know where I'm at. Probably I'll look at my butt. Probably. What am I supposed to do with the globe? Oh, I guess the sun. Reem says he likes your impressions of link attack noises. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. I'm so scared I'm going to trip and fall on my butt on stream. So. Eleven says, take that, son. In the distance, <laughs> you can see the heel stone which is aligned directly with what is believed to be the entrance of the monument. If you face towards the entrance now, you will witness the sunset during the mid-winter solstice. What? That it one? is theorized that this alignment with the sun and the monument ah, was to signify the is. new agricultural year. The ability to cultivate the land is what gave the Neolithic oh, so man the resources to undertake a project on of this size. It's on my head. I'm wearing a hat, son. You know, I keep my head warm. I keep my head warm somehow. Can we chuck the sun? Let's see if we can chuck it. <sighs> oh, my throwing's not very good in this game. <laughs> Nighttime. Oh, how pretty! Wow, it's like we're really there. We just need smell a vision and then feel a vision. It's like we're already there. Space says, "Stop staring at the sun." <laughs> we'll make ourselves blind. Use the fire to light the way. Use the force, Luke. Aha! I have the Eleven thinks this fire. place is very pretty. Look at this fire. I create fire to start the journey. <laughs> oh god! The five large structures in the center are known as trilithons. The largest of the trilithons, when fully erected, was nine meters tall and weighed as much as 50 tons per stone. These large stones were carried from over 30 miles away. So it wasn't aliens that did it? I mean, I think it was aliens. I mean, look at these globes and the suns and everything. Totally could have been aliens. Space says that he thought you just grabbed the torch rather than set your hand on fire, but what does he know? <laughs> the power of fire is in my hands, Space. Power of fire in my hands. Apparently, now I don't have fire anymore. Just the stars. Oh, the butterfly's back! Hi! Can I catch you? Can I catch you? Come here! Come here! No, you want me to catch you. Come here! Okay, I don't want to step too far away. <laughs> it won't let me catch it. <laughs> Believe me, I'm trying very hard. Okay, what am I doing now? Oh, okay, now I have a moon apparently. Alright, I'm gonna try not to trip over this gourd. I've got the Reem says, suddenly a wild public domain soundtrack appears. <laughs> Every year at midsummer, 
tens of thousands of people come to witness the sunrise during the summer solstice. While this is one of the main uses of the monument now, Stonehenge served different purposes to many types of people over the last 4,000 years. Aww. Like a church or place of worship today, it would have served for a variety of different events, burials, weddings, or festivals. While several of these theories are tough to discredit, many believe Stonehenge was initially built as a shrine to the dead to memorialize the lives of their ancestors. Wow, we get to share this experience together. Isn't that nice? It's so pretty. Eleven, they should totally have this in schools. You know, if everyone have a VR experience to them. Unless you get extremely distracted like me. <laughs> now, now children, we're gonna have a test after this stream. See if everyone was paying attention. So obviously, Shanana doesn't. <laughs> Not very well. Eleven says that she wishes this place was real and that they should have a stone hedge in school. <gasps> there is cool? still much Whoa. to learn about Stonehenge. Space says, Although why am I not getting married at Stonehenge? Stonehenge I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> the legacy Space, of this totally monument should. serves as a perfect demonstration oh, you know you could do? You of what and your human wife beings are capable together, of creating, and they get married at even if it See? appears impossible for the time. It'd be so much cheaper. Luckily, over the millennia, Stonehenge has Bye. stayed intact enough to preserve I part take of pictures. its story I'm not for really us good to pictures. observe well, horrible picture. and appreciate now. There we go. Oh, there's a good shot. Take some beautiful shots right there. Aww. Oh, we're getting too bright. Are we disappearing? Is the experience over? Alright, goodbye Stonehenge. It was so nice learning about you. Goodbye. We're gonna fly away up into the sky to our alien planet. The aliens have come and done all their their duties. Left humans with a bunch of mysterious ships. But they're gonna be questioning for many, many years from now. <laughs> And still never know the answer to who really built Stonehenge. <laughs> so Space thinks that getting married in VR would be a pretty rad wedding. Wouldn't that be cool? That's a great idea. Whoa, Rain says, fun fact, the Gaelic people weren't actually Gaelic. Space says, mmm, garlic. <laughs> garlic. Aww. Oh, that was cool! These are like cool experiences. Oh, hey, it's Jessica. Stonehenge. We are. Can I knock this over? Ah! Take that, rocks! Welcome back, <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for the biddies! I'm not sure who donated, Z but thank you! Zero cheered one bit and says balls. <laughs> of course he does. Hi, Zero! I don't know what the front of the camera is, so I'm saying hello all around me all around oh look i got the moon the sun and earth in my collection oh and i have my stones i might as well knock them all over <sighs> take that stones all right sweet all right what's the next experience launch free roam mode sure let's do it I'll make my own Stonehenge. I shall call it Shenanahenge. 
Ja, ich schon mir das mal ein. Space says Shannon is in a virtual reality where she thinks she's facing the camera. That's because we're getting a wonderful view of your backside right now. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Zero says, why is she ignoring us? <laughs> I'm not ignoring you. I can't see where the camera is. Believe me, it's just a little scary. I might run into some kind of wall or something. It gives me like a safe box, so that's okay. Whoa, what is this? What is this? I can control the music? Use attachment, teleport, gravity grab, and grab. What's gravity grab? Where is that? Is that the last one? Okay, so that's gravity grab. This is grab. Teleport. I guess we're creating our own Stonehenge? Alright, let's do this. I kinda like this music already. What's the music? Sorry, music options. Gotta get down. Gotta get down. Gotta get down. Gotta get down. <laughs> What's the second song? I'm sorry, I was dancing. It's probably made you all sick. That's too chill. Oh, this reminds me of that sad song we were playing as a baby in What We Remains of Edith Finch. Zero is disappointed that you are not wearing a dress, as usual. <laughs> of course he would be. Eleven awesome Things Zombie shirt. is going to start playing on one of those music soundtracks. Zombies? Zombie, zombie, zombie. Eh, eh. Would you make your own custom playlist? Oh, look, you can add music to your own playlist. Oh, cool. Well, we'll go back. Space says to create your own stone engine to trick a bunch of poor Welsh stone cutters. <laughs> We're gonna trick them all. It's our environment. Let's see. Time of day. <gasps> what time of day should we choose? Eleven calls your dancing the virtual reality shuffle. Yeah! Whoa! Guys, we have time. And Reem says that with you facing away from us, it looks like the ending to the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> oh, dang. If you want to face the camera, turn about 180 degrees. Mm, this, this way. Am I straight oh, down? Right, right there. Alright. I think the nighttime is the sun and the moon button. Oh, look, you can make it foggy. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Now I want it clear. I can see it all. Fog distance. Time of day. Sky color. Levin says it, it's like we're in Tron. Can I 
grab this Stonehenge. Do I have to make my own? It won't let me destroy and remake the old one? Maybe? Okay, I don't get back to the main menu. How much longer until you fall out the window that's behind you? Um, never. I hope never. That's not very nice. Space says that with the music, it's techno henge. <gasps> There's a Navi fairy! Hey, listen! Can you let it go? How do I let things go? Now I can hold them, but I don't want to hold them. Does the trigger not do, do anything? Nothing like spending your Saturday dancing on Stonehenge. <laughs> right? We're gonna make like our own little rave Stonehenge going on here. I'm just gonna surround myself with weird stuff. Whoa, what is this? That could go right there. Oops, I dropped it. Go right here. On the ground. We're making ourselves a forest. Worship me. Mini fires. I like how it's the sound of like a a lighter. says that someday he'd like to play VR Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Eleven says VR Jackbox. Imagine those doodles flying at your face. Whoa. Space says you should spell out words and fire. <laughs> Rain 
a stone will actually look like a stone. Not you. We're turning Stonehenge into our next. There we go. Look at all the colors. It's so colorful. If you did this in real life, the real Stonehenge people would be very upset. I think they would be, Eleven. I think they would. That's why we can do it in VR. Space says that somehow Shenanahenge just doesn't have the same magic of the original. <laughs> what is <a> space? <laughs> I think it looks beautiful. You know, I just gotta let my imagination just go wild. Oh, there we go. I think, wait, wait, wait a minute. See you over there. Okay. Alright. I think we did it, guys. I think we have colored all of Stonehenge right now. And it's gloriness. It's beauty and gloriness. Is that gloriness or goriness? Whoa! Oh, they're destructible. Look at this. Rain wants to know if you can paint the butterflies. The butterflies? Oh, maybe you can. Let's see. Alright. Let's see if it's Zero says he has to unfollow because he was expecting the VR stream to be a dress stream. <laughs> Whatever, Zero! It's okay. Space says, achievement unlocked. Really cheesing off the druids. Ah, there we are. I don't think it'll let me... Sh let me see if I can, can color them. I don't think I can. Come on, shooting them would be really difficult. Stay in one spot! Eventually, hit him. I don't think it's gonna You didn't think this them. was gonna be the FPS, did you? Nope, not really. Ah. <laughs> Alright, maybe if I get closer to them. Come here. Point blank range. Okay, I don't think it works. I don't think I can color them. What oh, if you color the circle they fly around? No. They Yeah, I think we're, we're left with the navvies. Oh, so pretty! Alright, I shall call this Shinana Henge. For all of those who would like to see it, just saying. Reem said he assumed you couldn't recolor the butterflies. He just wanted to see you spend a half hour trying. <laughs> Thanks, Reem. <laughs> oh, you guys are pretty awesome. No, Nina is light. here. She says hello. Nana? Yep. Oh, hi, Nana. I don't know where forward is, but hello. Hi! Welcome to Shinana Henge, where I make my own Stonehenge into many, many colors. 
Let's try to make ourselves small so we can actually look at it now. Whoa, it's like we're an ant. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, the fire. Can we put ourselves in the fire? Stop playing again. Mary doesn't like being in the fire. <laughs> Firehead. <laughs> oh, no, just keep our head warm. I'm singing in the fire. Yes, I'm singing in the fire. Singing. Oh, I'm singing and singing in the fire. Trying to like twirl it like an umbrella above me. <laughs> uh, whoa, it was flying! Oh, I think our music died. Oh, there it is. It came back. I got this one. Come here. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Aww. Ready to move on to the next game? Yeah, I think so. I think this turned out really beautiful. Aww. Oh, okay. Aww, well, I really want to thank uh, Voyager VR for letting me try out this game. This is really beautiful. And I'm sure someone who's a lot more artistic than I am <laughs> could turn something really beautiful from this. So I think my masterpiece is kind of awesome. Just saying. <laughs> Oh well, thank you. This has been great. I think we're gonna move on. Okay, to... Strick. We are gonna take a very, very short AFK while we set up the next game, and we will be right back in about a minute or two. All right. We'll see you on the next stream in a few minutes.
And we're good to go. All right. We're back. We're back. Hi, everyone. Hello again. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> uh, so this game is called Raptor Valley. Um, apparently, I have a flashlight. And I'm supposed to have a gun, but I don't know why I'd, I just have a controller. Mostly I was Oh have no. A gun. The only gun you, you get is a flare gun. Oh, I only have a flare gun? I thought I'd shoot the raptors. I guess not. So apparently I'm supposed to try to survive the night. So I'm just supposed to flash them with my flashlight? Is that what I'm supposed to do? The raptors? Yep. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is gonna turn out so bad. Uh, yeah, so apparently I'm in the middle of a raptor zone and I have to try to fend off the raptors with my handy dandy flashlight and hopefully I survive the night. Um, maybe we should start with 10 p.m. first. Eleven says, girl, you're outside inside. I am outside inside. Outside inside. It's outside inside right. inception. <laughs> Nena says, oh no, the raptors are super smart. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Guys. And Zero says, tell Shinonic to keep facing the window so that we can see your butt. <laughs> well, I don't know where the window is, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zero. You just have to... It's gonna happen when it happens. Alright, so should we do 10 p.m. first? You wanna try it out and see how long we can survive? We can survive you can try 10 p.m., but it's harder. Is it? You might want to start at 8. Really? So I'm just, I just flash him with a flashlight? Hello, and welcome to Raptor Valley. Well, My name is this. Victoria, and I'll be your guide. Reem says, rip <laughs> Shinana Banana, <laughs> died to <laughs> Raptor attack. Very powerful uh, weapon. Go I hope you try it out. remember me. Pull the left trigger to arm weapon. Congratulations. You've successfully turned on your flashlight. Why would you turn and off your that flashlight? that is the first step in surviving no a night in Raptor Valley. I'm gonna die. If you I'm so gonna raptor, die. All you have to do is shine your light into its eyes. It will run away. Almost every time. Good luck! Oh no! Go away! Hey! Hi! Oh, they're green. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. So we're gonna die. Oh my god. I'm gonna make everyone sick, by the way. Just saying. The terror is strong. I hear it. Where is he? Where are you? I'm gonna die. I can't tell if it's behind me. Oh, there you are. Ah, go away, Raptor! I see you! You're a jerk! Oh, I kept him at bay. I'm gonna trip over this cord in terror. Where are they? I hear it, but I don't seize it. Okay, cord. I'm gonna... It's you and me. I hear them. How do I know it's not? Okay. So, okay, so the hearing's pretty accurate. I think. <laughs> don't jump on me. Okay, it survived. <laughs> No. 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 No clever girls. Easy breezy beautiful clever girls. Where are you? I hear you. Where you be a wrestling? Where you be a wrestling? Where are they? I survived? I made it! Progress saved! Okay, I made it 9 p.m. Hello again. Victoria <laughs> here with a fun fact about raptors. Did you know that raptors are more afraid of you than you are them? It's true. Raptors I are just you. like snakes. Except <laughs> raptors are bigger and faster with massive claws and sharp pointy teeth, and they can jump as high as two story buildings, but all of that is Don't jump at me. I think they're quite similar. Can we just be a friend? They also hunt in packs. So if you see one raptor, there should be more friend. nearby. Do, do, 
That donation was from zero for six ninety, <laughs> and Thank it you, was zero. a lot of balls. A lot of balls. Yeah, he's hoping that uh, the voice thing would take over and scare me with balls. Eleven says she got scared. <laughs> she got scared. <sighs> Where are you? Okay, I see something. <laughs> yeah. So scared. I'm holding the cord right here, so I'm not tripping over it. Oh my god, we're almost at 10 o'clock, guys. Almost at 10 o'clock. Almost at 10 o'clock. Where are they? I hear him. Stop it. Stop it. wrestling stay away yes we did it <laughs> oh we made it to 10 oh at least we made progress if we die now at least i made some kind of achievement they're so bright out here that's because there's no man-made light polluting the sky not this for a hundred so miles freaky. in every direction no towns, no cities, no people at all. This chick is scary! So Stop talking! Serene, peaceful? Stop talking! Well, not for you, I suppose. What with the raptors trying to eat you? Still, you should take moments to admire the natural beauty of Raptor Valley. Raptors! No! Aw, oh, thank you so much for the biddies! Reem cheered 80 bits. Oh, thank you, Reem. Ah! Says distracting bit noise. Ah, distracting bit noises. <laughs> Hi, Raptor. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, Reem, if I'm making you sick with this. I'm just trying to survive. I'm trying to keep a, a line of sight going on. I hear rustling everywhere. Hey. Hey, good sir. Excuse me. Whoa, I jumped out of the game. Ah! Hi, Raptor. Can we be friends? You know, you just want to be friends, right? Right? Just a little bit? Ah! Where's the other wrestling? Oh, oh, there you are. Yes! Yes! So, Eleven thanked Reem and Zero for the donation and says they have become scary raptors. You forgot much longer <laughs> the than I I think it's time I told you about the flare gun in your backpack. I may have put it there before you woke up, along with a ton of flares. This You're chick welcome. is more scary than the raptors. Pull Space it. says Raptor Valley is way more intense than Doodle Valley. Doodle Valley? Oh. Go ahead. Fire away. The light from the flares will drive raptors away, just like your flashlight. But be careful. It takes a while to reload, and the flares only glow for a few seconds. Oh, but I'm no. sure you'll out. Have fun. Excuse me. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm either gonna trip over myself because I keep stepping on this cord, or I'm gonna die. I'll die both ways. Hi. Hi. I guess we should probably try out this, uh... I'm glad there's, like, sound, because the sound really helps in this game. <laughs> Thank you so much for the biddies! 
Zero says, pro tip, do die. Do die? Why? Why die? Hi, Raptor. Excuse me. Ah! I don't know what that did. Oh, maybe I should have shot, like, directly at them. Hi. Where's the other one? Hear him. Jerk. I got a flare gun. Not free to use it. Oh, I keep jumping out of the game. It's too intense. Hi, Raptor. You know, maybe they just want pets. They just want pets. Hi. Hello, this is Alice from Camp Daylight, broadcasting on all channels to whoever is firing those signal flares out in Raptor Valley. Your SOS has been received. I repeat, your SOS has been received. <gasps> be safe. I'm putting together a search and rescue team now, but we're a few hours out. You'll need to survive on your own a little Hi. longer. Honestly, I have no idea how you ended up that deep in the valley. Sit tight until we get there and keep firing those flares. Alice out. 12.15. Oh, this is interesting. It's creepy chick. Tired to it. Super Enter creepy. Enter the game. <laughs> Let's see if we can finish this before they arrive. Shall we? Oh, you're a jerk. May the best player win. You're a jerk, madam. <laughs> you're right behind me. <laughs> I'll be on stream fails forever. Ha! It's gotta be over here. Hear him. Where are you? I hear you. They're everywhere! Oh my goodness, we're almost at one o'clock! Can I shoot the floor? Hi. Hello. Hello. I hear thumping. Is that a T-Rex? It's a T-Rex, huh? I've seen plenty of Jurassic Park. I should know this. Oh no. Oh no. No! Oh, it's a T-Rex! It's a T-Rex! lucky to be alive right now. I saw what happened. We sent a recon drone to your location, and while it can't see much through the trees, it definitely saw that T-Rex. Oh. We're making good time over here, so don't Damn you it. dare give up on closer. me. I'll let you know when we start going <laughs> 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 Oh, that was scary. <laughs> So Eleven says, "Ah, oh, they sound like birds. 
Uh, Zero wants to know if you can golf with your friends in VR. Uh, it says, what if this is all just a prank and the raptors never attack and you're just on, judge, on edge the entire time? <laughs> I think we just found that out, Reem. <laughs> oh, well, that escalated quickly. Hey, I think I did pretty good. I did pretty good this round. I even got past the T-Rex. That was pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Definitely. Do you want to try? On edge a lot, that's for sure. Yeah. Do you want to try again, or do you want to move on to the next game? Um, I don't want to start from the beginning. I guess, okay, I guess we could try one. Does it start from where I, I died? Yeah, I think so. All right, we could try one more time and see how that happens. Because right, I don't want to start all the way back from the beginning. So. Right. Right. I will right, we'll try one more time, and then we'll jump over to the next game. Well, what time do we have? Like, what time is it? It's 1.15 right now. Okay, yeah. We'll do one more, because I probably will die really fast. And then, uh, Surgeon Simulator afterwards? All right. Oh, God. That was terrifying. I don't think I'm going to survive very long. Fire your flare off. Oh, okay. Where are they? Ah! Ah! What? That wasn't fair! I was totally flashing my light at him. He totally jumped. Ah, whatevs. That wasn't fair. I vote that wasn't fair. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. I, I totally had my flashlight right on him. I guess I'm supposed to flare him when he jumps? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that was a quick death, again, by the jumping raptors. <laughs> oh. Alright, sh shall we doctor it up? Sound good? Sure. Does it sound we good? Switch it over to the next game. So I can breathe a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, God, my eyes. Oh, so bright. Makes me blind. Oh, Steam VR Home. What? Wait, can you mess around on the home screen? Yeah, you can. I saw a um, companion cube. There's a companion cube in the room. Okay, now I know where the front screen is, because obviously here's the arrow. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. <laughs> oh. Glad to have you guys here. Thanks for uh, being here and following the experience with me and becoming blind because oh, I go through like Raptor Simulator and now it's super bright. Step into the light, Doctor. Shall be. All right. So everyone gets to see all of my awesome um, doctor skills. That I have. So, if you guys ever become injured, oh god, why is the light so bright? I'm gonna be a blind doctor, just saying. A blind doctor. Ah, oh, so bright. Ah! I've seen this before. You know the Doctor Doing It music? Slow mo. Oh, my hands! <laughs> Fingers. Okay, so that's thumb. Okay, that's thumb. I forgot. Okay, so that's the rest of the hand. Alright. Alright. Okay. What shall we perform surgery on today? Let's see. Um, operation. Can't answer this phone. Hello? Hello? Nigel, it, it's not that I wish to cast aspersions on your ability as a surgeon, Hello? but kidneys are supposed to go on the inside, Nigel. On the inside. Don't tell me how to doctor. Don't you tell me how to doctor. Oh, I can write stuff. Aww. Alright, come on. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully not so trippy. Um, sh 
Been on the page. Nah, nah. There we are. Stream. R. E. A. M. Oh gosh. Come here. Ugh. No. Gotta pick up the pen off the floor. Grab pen off floor. Not gonna grab the. <laughs> okay, never mind. I guess I'm not gonna grab the pen off the floor. Not gonna happen anymore. Whatever. That's gonna add a smiley face, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Pills. Reem says zero volunteers to be the patient in Surgeon Simulator. <laughs> Do you zero? He says, he says that he told Zero you were gonna play doctor, and he totally agreed. Totally agreed. <gasps> What's in here? 93? 93. Toss that over there. This is... Space says Shinana is going to be a cool doctor. I'm going to be an awesome doctor. I don't know why this hand is twitching out. Whoa! Stop twitching, hand! I know it says. Oh, it's in like different writing. Is this an alien? It's aliens! Like Stonehenge! Who has floppy disks anymore? What is this? Ah! Chat says. That your hand light writing is just like a real doctor's handwriting. <laughs> eleven says that this is like eleven in real life. I drop my pen and I can't pick it up. Aww. Space says struggles to pick up pen. About to perform surgery. Exactly. Exactly, space. Oh, let's press buttons. <laughs> Can we mess with the radio? Oh, there we go. Can we turn it off? Use the finger! Apparently not. Ah! Goodbye, radio! <laughs> oh, okay. I think enough distractions. What is all this stuff? Can I take... Can I pull the lid off? No? No? No! Oh! Okay. Who needs phones? It's not even plugged in! How does this work? It's not even plugged in. Is that a number? Can we dial that number right there? Do, 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 do. You know, this is how I actually use my hands. Just saying. It's how I dial on a phone. Alright. I'm done with that too. Uh, recording tape. Do we have, did we have a tape? Did I lose my tape? Did I throw it somewhere? I obviously probably did. Can I pick this up? Nope. Play. Play. I don't think there's a tape inside. Open! Oh, no tape in it. Alright. I'm gonna get through it somewhere. Okay. Let's start the stream! Well, I'll start the game. <gasps> There's a floppy disk in here. Can I pull that floppy disk out? <laughs> oh, I can grab the keyboard, apparently. Keyboard! Product info. info. Oh, look! You can follow him on Facebook and Twitter. Surgeon Sim. I love how it's on the bottom of the keyboard. Can I open the drawers? <gasps> I totally can! I didn't get to explore this much last time I played this. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Now that I've perfected everything that a doctor needs to know, we might as well start on some operations. So, Zero, we're going to perform an operation on you. Patient's name is not Bob. You're, oh, you're going to be Bob. Alright, Zero. And then we're going to work on 
What should we work on? Zero, should we work on your kidneys? Your brain? I'm going to give you a full-on brain transplant. I'm going to change out your eyes. Or move out your teeth. Any votes, chat? Any preferences you guys like to see? Heart, kidney, brain, eyes, or teeth? I'll leave it up to you guys. Which of the items? Vote. I'm sorry, what was that? It cut out. 11 votes brain. Brain? Nena also says brains. Brains. <laughs> brains. All right, let's do that. Brains it is. We're going to give Zero a brain transplant. Let's see how this goes. Uh, begin operation. <laughs> Swear, I'm a doctor. Hi, Zero! Whoa, power's out. I guess we're gonna perform brain surgery in darkness? I guess? I got a flashlight. <laughs> um. Alright. Scalpel? Uh, I guess we got. <laughs> Uh, no promises. Just saying. Oh, what is this? Oh, maybe we can drill into your head. I, I don't think this is the proper way to hold this, but... I can't see. Reem says, we're gonna give Zero a brain transplant. Someone quote that. <laughs> Drilling straight into your head. Alright, into the head we go! Oh, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to stab it. Just wanted to break open your skull. Oh no, my brain. <laughs> A little better view right here. You know, we're just gonna chip away. You don't need a skull, Zero. As long as your brain's intact, it's all that matters. Okay, there's just a little bit of bleeding going on. It's still good, it's still good. Just a little bleeding. I think, I think. All right, see, look, the bleeding stopped. It's all right. It's still alive. <laughs> Eleven says, ew. Ew. Oops, I stabbed him in the head and killed him. <laughs> Oh, he's already dead! I'm sorry, my surgery failed. You can obviously see what I did wrong in my in my practices. You know, just gonna have to try again. Restart! Rip zero. Rest in peace, zero! <laughs> oh. Why is the lights gotta be out? Is there like an on switch in here? Eleven says, maybe try the kidney. Maybe try the kidney instead of the brain. It's not as uh, needed. How did, is there a way I can get to that light over there? That'd be really cool if I can grab that light. But I don't think I can walk all the way over there, to be honest. TBH. Yeah, I don't think you have enough room to quite get that far. No. All right. Well, OK, so the drill was, what is this? Oh, it's a laser! Can we laser his head open? Come on. Come on. Laser the skull! It's cracking. It's cracking. I see it's cracking. We're just frying away at his bones. like an eggshell. Reem says he's watching you do this surgery while he's eating a chicken pot pie. <laughs> Sounds delicious, Reem. Oops. Next up, don't stab the brain. Zero says that he fe feels sorry for this guy. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. Alright, come on. Come on. I haven't hit the 
brain too much yet. It's like an eggshell. Oh, oops, sorry. And a little bit right here. I don't think I can fully remove the brain yet without all the skull gone. I don't know, you're losing a lot of blood fast. Am I? Oh, is that the blood? Right there? Milliliters? Yep. Oh, yep. How do I give him more blood? How do I give him back blood? Do I have to give him a transfusion? How do I take out the brain? Grab it. Here. Get off. And pull off the rest of these pieces. How do you give him more? Oh, maybe you can give him a needle in the brain. Oh, that did really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm gonna give you a pain reliever. Stab you, it won't go through your clothes, apparently. Okay, maybe in your neck. Nana says, why does this remind me of Dr. Nick Riviera? Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Nick. How the hell am I supposed to take this out? Am I supposed to cut it open? I don't know. Can I give him pills? I think you need to remove more of the skull. Oh, he's gonna die. He's, he's Eleven says, you just lasered off this person's memories, but they can still move their fingers, so it's okay. Uh, I'm like... Zero wants to know if you washed your hands first. <laughs> Never! Oh, he's gonna die. I, I can't work in this kind of environment. No. Eleven says the reason he's doing bad is because you injected him with heroin. I did. I tried to make him feel better. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, maybe brain transplant. I, I'm not this skilled for a brain transplant. <laughs> I don't know what to do next. I'm sorry. I have failed you. <laughs> Such an amazing person. I failed you so much. Brutal murder achieved in mere three minutes. Alright. Let's try let's try something else besides the brain. Brain seems uh seems kinda of difficult. Hit hit. Let's do kidneys. Let's try kidneys. You know, they're not really uh needed too much, right? I can't kill them as fast. I mean a brain. Alright, now it's Oh, I actually have light? Thank goodness. Wow, this is a really brutal look how look how dirty that the ceiling is. You know, this is very insanitary. Look at this mold. It's disgusting. This is very insane. Then it says, I think you can get high and do surgery in this game. <laughs> Eleven says, Don't be kidding me. With that kidney. Ah, I love it, Eleven. What's in here? Oh, the kidneys! Ah, I'm gonna lot lose them. Stay there. Stay there, kidneys. Zero says, who actually trusts Shinana Banana to do surgery? <laughs> no one does. Well, actually, Eleven says, I would. I would. Aww. Eleven, I'll try not to fail you. I like how I get to listen to 80s music while I'm doing surgery. Reem says the reasons this operation room is so dirty is because he thinks work for the mob or something. For the mob? I know. Paid by the budget. Come on, ribs. Get out of the way. You don't need them. Chew, chew, chew. Ribs. <sighs> Who needs them? I didn't even know them! Come here! Rip! Come here! Why, Reem says he would trust Shinana Banana with only one operation, and that's Long Division. Long Division? I don't even know if I know how to do that very well. Alright. Broke through the ribs, guys. Do we grab the guts? Can I grab the guts? Can I grab the intestines? 
You need to scalpel them. I need to scalpel them? I love how there's a camera right here. Bob! Zero! Bob! Zero! I'm gonna film this glorious day for you. How do you feel? Hopefully well. Well, probably not too well, because I just broke open all your ribs. But we're just gonna leave this camera floating in midair, because it's magic. Magic camera! Um, but we can laser. We got this saw thing. I don't know if this will work. Zero says, how come Shanana isn't wearing gloves? <laughs> I know, I am not wearing gloves. This is very unsanitary. Can I press buttons? I can't press the buttons. Oh, something's moving. I don't know why. What am I doing? Oh, I don't even need to see this. Who needs progress? Oh, oh, there we go. Hi. Hello, camera. That's why there's a camera. Oh, so we can move this camera right here. Oh, look at this view. <laughs> it's camera inception. Camera inception. It's like a camera within a camera within a screen within another screen. All right, okay. Um, this is my way. Away it goes. Um, how do we get to the kidneys? Where am I supposed to cut? Let's cut there. Oops, no. Oh, he's bleeding. He's bleeding. Stop bleeding. How do I stop the bleeding? Eleven says, this is suddenly Outlast. This is suddenly Outlast, I know, right? Space says, congratulations, the surgery was a success. On an unrelated note, you now have several broken ribs and a colostomy bag. <laughs> and a colostomy bag. <laughs> then it says, knife goes in, the guts, guts come, come out. out. Knife goes in, the guts come out. I sound like a really sadistic doctor. Like a really sadistic one. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be cutting. How do I, where am I supposed to cut? Am I supposed to cut right there? Cut right there? I'm just making him bleed more. Apparently. Wait, how does- Space I... says, turn off the heart rate monitor. That's depressing. Oh, isn't it off? I think it is off. You just see the screen now. Yeah. I guess you could spoon it. Can I give him injections? There you go. Can I push it in? How do I push in the- oh, he's just bleeding. He's just bleeding all over the place! How do you- how do you actually give someone an injection? You supposed to just stab him with it? Because apparently that's not working. I can't plug- plug the bloody hole! <laughs> What's the point of using these? I think lasering is like the only best option we have here. I guess we're just gonna have to laser out your intestines. Obviously, because I know where the kidneys are. Laser that. Laser. Come on. Laser. You know, it's supposed to let like, go somewhere. Where is it supposed to let like, go? You don't need any of this. I'll be all good. Is it severed? I think I severed it. Oops. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, maybe because the laser was sticking almost into his crutch. I'm sorry. I apologize. Eleven says, "Okay, I take it back. I would not let Shinana give me surgery." <laughs> oh, but come on! I mean, he just wouldn't survive. He just probably wouldn't. Probably wouldn't. I love how I can see my hands in the camera. Alright, well, hmm. Hmm. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know where I'm supposed to cut. You know, I only took one day of doctor school. And all I know is the knife goes in and the guts come out. And that's all that's supposed to happen. Apparently, the knife goes in and guts don't come out. Like it's supposed to. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's great. 
So Zero is giving you an F for effort. <laughs> Nana is giving you a D plus for effort, saying she wasn't too bad. Oh, thanks, Alexis Nana. Says, Remove those squiggly things. Squand Four is telling you to now you have to cut the scrotum. Cut the scrotum. Hi, Squand. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Always nice to see you. Eleven says scrotum. But she barely even knows, knows him. him. I love it, Eleven. All right, well, maybe we could do teeth. Teeth might work, right? Teeth is very hard. Is it? Oh, have it's you? It's because the teeth this? are so hard to handle. Uh, you can try the heart. That's probably the easiest one. Really? Yeah. Where did it? kidney's got an A? Yeah, that's my handiwork. Oh, did you play this one? If anybody needs the under-the-counter kidney transplant, I'm available. Oh, there we go. All right, let's try heart. But I can barely get even through the body cavity. I don't know what cuts what. Oh, don't take away my lights. All right. How about it just stays on? <laughs> through the bones we go. No, nope, it's better just to stab him. Take that out. Don't need that. No, there are 80s music going on here. Run! Do a vertical slice. I feel like I need a hammer. Like Zero says use the bone saw. I think a hammer would work better. I don't know. Oh, there we go. It's breaking. Screw! There we go. Gotta break it at source. The bone saw only like sliced a little bit, but maybe I was not using the bone saw very well. <laughs> oh, damn it! The hammer went inside! Stop! It's hammer time. Eleven says, "Guess we'll be replacing this man's rib cage." <laughs> you don't need it. You don't need it to survive. Just saying. All right, get out of the way. All right. So now, how? Scissors? Is this snip stuff? Where's the snippies? Can I snip that? How do I snip this? Oops. I'm supposed to just stab? Oh, it's just bleeding profusely! Snip, snip, snip. Come on. Slide down by the stomach. By the stomach? Oh, is there supposed to be a line? Snip. Oh, there we go! Stomach is out! <laughs> it looks so gross. Is this out too? You don't need it. You'll be alright. Ew! Gross. Gross. How do we take the lungs out? Lungs done? Oh, lungs are done too. Apparently it doesn't need that too. Um, where do we snip now? Snip right here? Is it here? How do we... Oh god, he's gonna die. And he died! <laughs> hey! At least we got somewhere in the body. Somewhere. Got somewhere there. <laughs> Eleven says, imagine those bone chips in your lungs. No way, Jose. No way, Jose! Space says, of course we are replacing this rib cage. It totally failed the durability test. <laughs> oh. All right. William said, for a split second, Shanana's hand was just a skeleton. Did anybody see that? Yeah, 
like, I guess the camera, like, will zoom out the hand and turn, turn into a skeleton for a little bit. I don't know. I think it's if I go too far, or I'm not kind of like ghosting. ghosting Rame said control. he thinks it's because you're the Grim Reaper. I probably am. <laughs> oh, my doctor skills, they'll never be complete. Oh god. Oh god. Zero ass. Is this what the inside of the body looks like? <laughs> you know, you know, probably to uh, actual size. Zero. Just saying. Space says, Shanana's discount surgery. Quote, you don't need it. <laughs> you don't. Not necessary. Don't need it. It's okay. Time Rain, of death, Rain 143. Says, Tosses lungs on the floor. We don't need these. We don't need these. Uh, it's the only way to get to the heart. You have to go through all the body parts. You gotta put him somewhere else for a little bit. Nana says, we will rebuild him. We have the technology. I know. Soon, he will be a robot. Zero says, Shinana confirmed pure evil. Pure evil? <laughs> Me? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't even know. Squan says, when are the cops coming? <laughs> we're, we're in some dingy... They're not going to show up. We're like a dingy surgeon office right now. Eleven says, I'm glad Jiggle isn't here to witness this. I know. It's hey, right? It's just hey. It's okay, Jiggles. It's just hey. <laughs> it's a very red, bodily looking hey. It's all right. She'll be okay. Aw. What's our time, by the way? We are at 1.45. Ah. Hmm. What time do we have for one more game? What do you think? Do you have time for one more game? One more game? Let me see. Do you want me to try Hover Junkers? Yeah, we could try some Hover Junkers quick. Or we could do Climby. Which one do you think you'd like? Whichever one's good for another 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Party up in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, at least I was facing forward this whole entire time. I never know where I'm facing. Pretty much all the game. Ah, oh, this is so cool! Oh. One day I will hang out in the Steam VR room. Maybe just for a little bit. Just for a little. Stress level zero. Oh, that's good. Grip to talk. Am I going to play against other people? That's the plan. Really? Oh gosh. I don't know if they want to talk to me. I'm gonna fail them. I hope we're all on the same team. Hi! Are you a person? Or are you an AI? I think you're an AI. I want a wolf hat. Can I have a wolf hat? You can. Sweet! Wow! Casket height? Look here. Why am I looking there? Right there. Oh, I can point. You. You. Center. Stand center and look forward. Okay. Oh, it's adjusting my height, which is kind of tall. <laughs> How tall are you? That's what we're gonna be measuring. Ew. Looks like we're in a desert wasteland. Okay. Enter at your own risk. Learn to shoot. Do I walk forward? Can I walk? Do I just personally walk? Do I actually walk walk? Apparently I can make um, you point <laughs> at where you want to go. <laughs> so you can do target practice. That is you just can vulgar. Look at that. Go right into the game. <laughs> pew 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 pew. Um, do I have to walk forward? I assume. Mm -hmm. you, you just point out what you want to do. Oh okay.
Oh, it's loading. Hey, hey welcome to my bar. I made this place. Please help keep it clean. Hi, sir, robot. Can I have a drink? Oh, there's a juice box. <gasps> there's little robots dancing in it. That's so cool. Alright, let me choose my character. Ooh, Ooh these super cool guy. shoes. says, in the future, all jukeboxes will have a mini Chuck E. Cheese in them. Aww. They look so cute. Alright. Eleven says, I know a treasure more precious than gold. It comes from ye heavens, or so, are, so I am told. Diamonds are silver, or Mercedes Benz. Not even the oceans are greater than friends. You have to look up and pick a room and join it. Even the robot's getting down. You. Don't forget to do it. Alright, pick a room. And I'm going to pick a room. So uh, above the robot. Oh, okay. Alright, room. Create. Create a room. Map. See if there's a room you can join. It's gonna be the purple screen. Hit the refresh button. <laughs> what? Are you? What's on your 
back. It was on his back. <laughs> can I grab your hat? Let me grab your hat. Can I sit down? I wish I could sit down. I want to grab your hat. Oh, let me grab his hat. I want to grab your hat. You, good sir, are an awesome bartender. Just saying. Just saying. I don't think there's any room uh, right now. You can try creating one. Maybe you'll that's find some people. This used to be an old lake bed back when there was water. Not much is left. Oh, you have to play with other people. So in room is one, players three. You know, I can just enjoy the jukebox like this whole entire time. What's VoIP? VoIP 1? Hey, I got a challenge. How many cups do you think you can stack up? Zero says, can we murder the robot? Eleven says, no. No, I like the robot. You're not going to murder him. Reem says, I need to make a Tia VR petting zoo. <gasps> you should, Reem. That would be wonderful. Aww. Eleven says, I would play that. Space says he loves the look the robot gave you when you were trying to take off his hat. <laughs> I tried. He was looking straight into my eyes. Reem says yeah, that Tia cut. just wants you to scratch her butt. And when she gets tired and leaves for like five minutes, and then comes back and wants more butt scratching. Unless you have food. Oh! I think we have someone here. Whoa! Hi! What am I supposed to do? This is my first time playing. Can, Hi, good sir. You can hit roll out. Hit roll out. Roll out. Start roll out. the game. Roll out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait, there's a person right next to me. Roll out. Dinner. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. At least he found someone. What am I doing? So your left hand is the key, and it plugs into the... right there. Okay. And Whoa. now that can... And so one of the thumb buttons controls your gun. Which, it selects which gun you are. It's one of the thumb buttons on the right hand. I'm running away! On the right hand? Yeah. By the, like, the top thumb button. Not the big D-pad. Oh! Um, how do you... The, now the D-pad reloads. The D-pad? Oh. The thumb button. And you actually have to like click it. Oh, I got it again. Okay. <laughs> I at least found my gun this time. Not knowing how to do any of this.
keep moving and you can duck down and move around and you actually get cover inside your land speeder. Cover? Where? Um, so if you take your left hand. Oh. You, you actually have a little button. box where you can put stuff around your ship to give you cover. Oh, but the duck, I have to actually, like, duck duck? Yeah, you have to real life duck. Oh, real life duck? Flip it, flip it. Flip the chamber back in. Flip your hand, flip your hand, just like real life. your driving thing. Oh. That's a flare gun. Oh. Oh. I need to figure out which one works best for all of this. Do you want to go to the shooting range? <laughs> no, that's okay. Alright, so look around and you have a box somewhere. That box right there, the blue box to your left. Get out the thing that drives, and you can put that stuff around your ship to give you cover. Where's the thing that drives again? It's in the gun menu. You can open up the gun menu with either hand. Oh. Which one's the one? Is this one? Oh, it is. Yep. You actually have to move your thumb around the thumb pad to refill the bullet. This is complicated. Hi, go back in! I don't like this reloading. <laughs> I can't reload! Is there a gun that just reloads on its own? Because this is so bad. <laughs> No, you have to reload all. It all the time? Wow. That is just too much. I can't. Just can't. <laughs> okay. That's... Wait. Oh, at least you... Hold on. Can you flip it back? Okay, that seems a little easier. Why is there a fork on it? That's your sight. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh... first get some cover up so you can take cover behind it. No, you didn't. You didn't refill the bullets. I don't think. How do you refill them? See them? Oh, you just hold the button. I see. We got one minute to go. All right, you still then put your cover up. Man, who needs the cover? I'm gonna die anyway. I need to be able to shoot them. I'm doing. Hero says, why is she trying to shoot an unloaded gun? No. Eleven says, this isn't a video game. In real life, you have to load a gun. <laughs> I know. This is like a video game. I don't have to reload it. <laughs> I like flying in it. That's kind of cool. I like the flying thing. I like how I can just take it wherever I want to go. I like the hover. Ten computer. seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 
slap down. That's okay, I'll get you out. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a Twitch option on here. Just saying. There's a Twitch option. I didn't even select it. I got clicked on the button. What? Aww. Well, that was interesting. Notice self, I'm really bad at shooting in VR. I wish I had a controller in my hand. Like that stupid paperclip from that one Well, I have got you centered on the camera, on the camera big, if you would like to sign out to your viewers at all. Am I forward? You are forward right now. You can, you can take the headset off if you want. Oh, okay. Ah, it hurts my eyes. Okay. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for being here and uh, being here on our first ever VR stream. Hopefully it worked out well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll try to plan some more in the future if it turned out pretty good. If you guys did uh, like some of these streams. <laughs> Hopefully you guys didn't get too sick. Um, yeah. I don't know if, I don't think we're probably going to host someone today, but, um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will be posting, uh, next week's schedule this weekend, so either today or tomorrow, so be sure to check on there. If you guys have not already, uh, I do have my own Discord. If someone could type in exclamation point Discord in chat for me, please, I can actually, I can't really type, I'm not even near a computer right now. <laughs> oh, but that was a lot of fun! Thank you, Voyager VR, for letting me play the Stonehenge game. That was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. The Raptor one was kind of scary. And uh, note to self, I should never become a doctor. And I'm not very good at flying and shooting. But that's okay. At least we tried. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Take care. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by hurt you all so very much and uh, I'll see you next week hopefully. Stay awesome, amazing, beautiful Bye! Hearts! Hearts all around